as he arrived home that evening, and this is corroborated by the security guard who presented evidence that he was on the phone, that when he arrived home, he was on the phone to a number listed in his contact list as baby shoes. Who are you overreacting now? Did that phone call trigger an argument? I think the, the argument moved outside of the room, maybe down in the television room, just outside the bedroom, or down even into the kitchen. Reva! It was widely reported that Reva's ex-boyfriend... And this is the argument that Mrs. van der Merwe heard when they were arguing out. Francois Hochot sent an SMS that sparked the argument. But what if it was Oscar's interaction with baby shoes that sparked the argument? Well, the big question was, who is baby shoes? We did a uh, you know, service provider search uh, on that particular number. We managed to establish that it was registered to a man in his 60s with a surname Edkins, who happens to have a daughter whose name is Jenna Edkins. Jenna Edkins is a former girlfriend of Oscar Pistorius. He had broken up with her several years uh, prior to you know, dating uh, Reva Steenkamp. But what it showed is, is that the night before the deadly shooting took place, he was on a significantly long call uh, to his ex-girlfriend minutes before he arrived home. So it might very well have been that Edkins was messaging Oscar that night, but unfortunately that evidence has been deleted. You are no one without me. I am going to... You go and I... What we managed to establish is, and, and you know, it, it wasn't presented in the court, but on the scene that morning, uh, the police were seizing various pieces of evidence. And among the evidence that was being seized were cell phones, laptops, iPads, and, you know, tablets and the like. But what emerged is that Oscar, in fact, had two devices. He had a device that he used for work calls, and he had a device that he used for private calls. The device that was seized of Oscar's on the scene was his work phone. What emerged is that, that his private phone was actually removed from the crime scene and it was ultimately found to have been removed by his brother, Carl. Not just removed, but tampered with as well. That phone was taken and synchronized with a laptop or a Macintosh computer. And the username that was used was Titanium Hulk. That happened to be the nickname that Carl Pistorius goes by.